D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, oh, wait a minute, it's snowing. Now look at that, Pete, it's snowing. And I'm doing this video because a subscriber, a subscriber asked to do a video on this device right here. All right, this is the INT69SC motor protector. Okay, so I'm gonna go, uh, uh, be doing a video on that. And it's gonna be a rather short video because you can see what's going on here. Beautiful weather here in New York. Um, so basically I'm gonna go out, go with the connection, explain how it works, explain how it works, and um, show you real time where it's installed on the compressor. Okay, so it's a motor protector. Get a better camera. Okay, and pardon the noise because this thing is gonna be going on and off while I explain. So again, this is my channel. I do it in the field, real time, real world HVC, and it's simplified. And so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll wait for you, I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead, click the subscribe button right now before I get into the video. And also smash that uh, notification icon. So when I do videos like this, you don't miss out. You get it right away, okay? So let's get into it. So what this device does here, folks, this device, uh, it senses the, the motor winding. In this case, it's gonna be a compressor. It senses the temperature of the winding. And the temperature gets too hot, it cuts open uh, uh, the safety circuits and the compressor will turn off. So uh, this device, you're gonna wire it in basically in series with your high and low pressure safety switch, same concept. So if you just got a high pressure switch and a low pressure switch, you're gonna wire this device in series with that, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be like end to end, right? Like, so the wire goes into the low pressure switch, out of the low pressure switch, you go into your high pressure switch, out of the high pressure switch, you can run one of your wire right here at the uh, M1 or M2 and then the other wire from over this side you go continue back into your contactor coil so whenever the motor windings uh, gets too hot you know uh, just as a safety it's going to open this contact right here so safety is going to open and the circuit, circuit is going to be broken and your compressor contact is going to be energized okay so let's get into explaining explaining the connections so um, here you have T1 and T2, and it says it here. Your, uh, uh, it says here your uh, supply. That's your power supply. On this particular device, your power supply is 24 volts AC. Okay. Oh, there you go. The chiller turns off. So again, you gotta re really always, you know, pardon, pardons, because you know, on my channel, I'm gonna be always doing videos like this where there's gonna be background noise or background music, as you may, of the equipment running. Real world, real time, real HVAC. You know, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Again, you know, um, you know, subscribe, hit the notification icon, hit that bell, because you're gonna get these videos like this. You see, I'm doing this, it's cold out here, it's snowing, and I'm doing it for you guys. So, let's explain the terminal. So, uh, uh, um, T and T2, that's your power supply. In this case, is 24 volts. Um, S1, S2, that's your thermistor. That goes inside of the compressor, inside of the compressor, and it senses the, the, the winding temperature, right? And report back to the device. And at a predetermined number, I don't know exactly what the number is. Uh, uh, let me see, it doesn't say here. But at a predetermined number, once the winding is too hot, it's going to uh, signal this device to open these contacts right here, right? And that's uh, the contact is M1, M2. And again, that's gonna be wired in series with your uh, uh, compressor control circuit, whether like a high pressure switch, a low pressure switch, you're gonna put this in series with these right here. Two terminals, two wires, okay? Um, these contact right here, uh, they can handle uh, up to uh, 240 VAC at 2.5 amps, 2.5 amps for max. And um, if, you, if you have power constantly here, if power is constantly here, and then this sensor tripped, and the device is tripped, and these switch is, is open right uh, it's gonna take once the windings cool down or the thermistor cools down it's gonna take uh, uh, five minutes it says right here 
right? Or, or what is 30 minutes plus or minus five minutes. So you figure like 25 minutes, it will, it will reset. Or you can just disconnect the power and, or, and, and then do a manual reset. Okay, so that was the device. Let's, get in, let's see what it, what it looks like, what it looks like in the real world installed. The compressor. Okay, so there it is. And this compressor is running right now. It's currently online. I don't want to disturb it. There's a schematic. A wiring diagram explaining what I just said. Or explaining what I just explained. <laughs> Alright. And, um... Uh, so you see you got right here, the, uh, these two wires is a power supply, 24 volts, okay, and um, that's these two wires right here, these two wires right here, which is blue, it's a sensor, okay, so I had this one here uh, removed, you can see it, uh, the blue wires, the sensor, okay, it goes into the compressor to the thermistors, And as you can see, there's an extra uh, sense or prongs, extra prongs. These are extra prongs, meaning that they are, these are extra or spare thermistor. So, you know, if, if, if the current one which, this, which these wires is connected to, if those set, if thermistor burnt out, they, the manufacturer gave you a spare. Because, you know, in the end, if, uh, if all the thermistors are bad, you can either just run your compressor with the way it is by, 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 passing, by passing this safety or you just move this uh, the wires over to the other center and plug this one put it over here and plug that one put it up top okay you know you had an extra set of sensor uh, another set of uh, uh, sensor for mister and um, if you want to bypass this safety here you know in case you know both of your uh, thermistors are bad right you know a thermistor goes right here s1 s2 if you want to bypass it all you got to do is shunt these two wires right here connected to M1, M2, just gonna shunt that. And while the compressor is running, if you pull any, if you open or pull any one of these wires right here, if you pull it, oh, there you go, cycled off. Right, if you pull any one of these two wires right here, if you open it, the compressor would turn off. All right, um, you know, I'd love to do it, you know, real time while it's running, just pull one of these wires out and let it shut off, but I don't wanna do that because this is a critical unit and, um, you know it might create some issues with the with the client inside if i do that okay but pretty much that's what it is again if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do put videos out on a weekly basis you still here you're special if you look inside, look see, look see.